Live. Yeah, that's cool. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining us again tonight. Alrighty. So, um, I know we've uh, changed up a little bit of the format. Uh, I just want to make sure that what you guys are seeing is uh, is you know doing whole sound check back and forth again one more time. Um, I'm getting reports that Twitch. TV and Justin.TV are going to be a little bit heavy tonight. So uh, supposedly there is a huge game fest that's going to, that's going on specifically somewhere in the world, and uh, so that's the reason why the the resolution is a little bit lower, so that the quality of the video can be a little bit better during the entire part of the cast. So I do apologize for the inconvenience about that, but I just is what it is as of right now. But. Uh, just want to say thank you to Coder96, Less Music, Powers USA, the Midnight Manufacturing Company, Yolman, and you beautiful lurkers for uh, staying around and uh, and uh, taking a look at what we what we have here at Hyrule 3 d So hold on just Keep one second. On exactly. Keep on copying us, guys. We just find it funny that... Uh, yeah. yeah. <coughs> we love it. Yeah. Okay. Hey, good idea is a good idea. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Yeah. Okay, so perfect. 
I know the the screen's a little bit smaller. The reason why is because yeah, there's a there's huge there's a couple of huge tournaments going on this weekend. I know. You don't think the fact that I had two sandwiches today had anything to do with the screen looking smaller, do you? No, not at all. How's everybody doing tonight? <coughs> so. Right. I first want to apologize for not putting out a Kickstarter update uh, for this live broadcast. I apologize. Uh, I didn't get to it. Um, Does that mean no one knows that we're having it? Well, apparently uh, eight or nine people know that we are we're having it tonight. Oh, so good. good. Yeah. So um, again, guys, I apologize. Just got caught behind the power curve on this one. So, but we're getting very, very close. Very, very close. To what? Um, to sending out an announcement. Well, now we're sending out an announcement. I, I would say that we're getting closer and closer to shipping. Wow. I mean. Would so, you? Uh, yeah, we had uh, <coughs> one of the backers here today uh, going through the assembly of his machine. Yep. Uh, so, Les Wilhelm, thank you for coming over. Yes. Uh, thank we you, uh, in, always enjoy having you. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was fun to get your machine up uh, far enough to go through the Z axis calibration, the X and Y, mm -hmm. and just generally to show you how it gets put together. And as you can see, it's, it's possible to put one together. Yep. And uh, that's a good start. Uh, how tough would it be to switch into a camera on the other room? So uh, how many minutes does it take? Hey, give me about five, ten minutes. I can have it up and running in just a moment. But uh, if you want me to get a good signal, uh, yeah, I can get a good signal. When is our next broadcast going to be? <sighs> See, I don't know. See, that, that's 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 the thing. Oh, we're going to be at the World Maker Fair next weekend. That's right. <coughs> I didn't know if maybe Wednesday night we want to do a kickoff broadcast as we're showing what we're taking to the fair and sure um, keep tonight's thing a little bit shorter that way. I think we can do that. I think we, we, we have, have printers level. all over the place. This looks like a printer Armageddon Wars. Yeah. Well, that's just a few. you got to go in the other room to appreciate it. That's why I was asking. Um, those that have been nice enough to come by, you know what it looks like here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another assembly room. And basically this week we brought everything back over from the other test place. Uh, and we stripped it apart changed everything, updated it as per the feedback from the Kickstarters. <coughs> it's been reassembled and right now I'm printing yeah. with uh, an engine, a material sensor of the latest design yes. in the other room. Yes. And it will be done in about 15 or 20 minutes I think if it doesn't fail. And yes I've had two failures so far but not printer related failures actually. No. So. Um, uh, it looks promising. I'll go take a look on it in a second. But uh, we learned something really new uh, this week or special. You know, a lot of you guys have given us great feedback. I think it's Dacostad or something like that. Yeah, the costed. The costed gave us some <coughs> information about printing on aluminum, how everybody liked that. And I tried it and with mixed results. But again, we're still learning about that. That was also Plexus uh, 314 as well. But I'm going to so. tell you guys that as a kid, there was one thing that we had around the house that was awesome. Because we lived in a house that had a gas stove. And if you put those flames up on high, and you snuck in the bathroom, and you grabbed a can of this stuff, little did I know that 50 years later, I could still make smoke with it, or flames. So, uh, Aquanet, for those of you guys who can't see it, this yeah. stuff makes it stick to glass. So. Uh, our humidity is a little bit lower right now. It's probably dropped down to 70% or something like that. Yeah. Um, so that could have some positive effect on it. But uh, just spray a coat of this on, wait about 10 minutes, and you're ready to print on glass. And that's with ABS. And I'm actually printing at about 85 degrees C with no lift off at the moment. So uh, I thought anybody out there <coughs> playing is going to want to know that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, uh, on another point, we got um, a shipment in from Shenzhen, came in on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and um, that is the new uh, material sensor board, which is why we're printing a revised sensor body now, because a <coughs> little tiny tweak to make it more perfect, and then we also got in the boards for the top cover that were perfect, and so now when you go to plug in your... Um, 
I'll go get one. We can show them on top of here how it goes. How's that? Yeah, yeah. That, that uh, you're all going to be interested in that probably. Okay. Uh, <coughs> and these were really, we were hoping to have them last week or three weeks ago. Now we got them. So, not sure if you're, you're better on. You said we were supposedly supposed to have them a couple weeks ago, but they didn't arrive until now. Um, that was because of a particular customs issue. <coughs> but now that we have them in, uh, we've done a little bit of testing and yeah. So uh, this is like. the board. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says pass. Nice what do you know about that? Yeah. And why don't you flip the camera up around here? Mm -hmm. You can show them how it would go on, and uh, actually, I'll go grab. Let me go grab some standoffs, and I'll actually install one of them for them. Okay, guys. So, there you go. Give it a second. There we go. This is hothead one, hothead two, and then uh, hothead three and hothead four. So you're going to see two wires that come down down through here. One that's going to be going to the camera, um, and the other one that goes directly to the USB. And this is going to plug into <coughs> the top couple of areas that you see right here. Now this is something that really uh, Tim had brought up to us. We already had thought about it, but Truthfully, I hadn't embraced it until Greg and another user backer had validated it as being a great help to them. Um, so you'll see in a second why it's important. First off is, as you can see, we have a lot of open <coughs> connectors here. It's kind of easy to drop a screwdriver if you were too careful. Although I don't know what you're doing with a screwdriver over this area, but you know that's an engineer's point of view, not necessarily a practical one although it should be and uh... Are those M4s or are those uh... they're 5x5's. Five five. They're 5x5's? Five five? Well that's what the label said. Sorry, okay. Good. You see my trusty cohort here is making sure I'm putting in the right thing. And that's appropriate. Okay. And then this actually mounts up right on top of that like so <coughs> need to go with the non-pan washer ones for this oops hold on I'll be right back you got the wrong screw okay all right for anyone who's uh, who wants to know, uh, I'll be putting this up on our website as well, that we will be going to the World Maker Fair in Flushing Meadows, New York, um, and that's going to be happening September the 21st and 22nd. So if you happen to be in the New York area, or if you uh, are coming down, we will be there. Since we're not printing, we could turn the fan up in here. How cool is that? I like that. Yeah, I do too. It's since nice and hot today. I got like 300 watts. Whoa! 300 <coughs> watts of heat coming off of that. That was me doing the drop test. Uh, I don't know who's getting this printer, but I apologize. Ah, uh, it's Hutch's printer. Yep. We've been testing things on it all, all week long. There. Okay. okay, so I, I left a couple standoffs after expeditious and sake, but the idea is if you look right here closely, you'll see now when, go, see if you can come in from this angle, uh, well, you'll see now that you have trouble uh, to uh, load it, load it in there, and it plugs right in, and now you tighten it, and now your head's installed. And so the cover is just to make it easier for you guys so you don't go left and right as you're plugging it in. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I uh, thought you guys would like to see that. That's one more thing. And this comes with the expanded three USB heads mm -hmm. on it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There Looks you go. Good. Looks very good. Okay. Um, okay.
Okay. <coughs> yes, th thank you. Thank you, Power PowerCSA. The thumb screws are, are a very nice touch. In fact, uh, it's been one thing that, uh, um, in order to actually hold the Gibson into place, um, or actually your extruders or your accessories in place, it has been completely necessary to use that. So if Lord if Lord Devo is on online tonight, uh, he will probably tell you the exact same thing. So <coughs> although sometimes it doesn't pull up that as well. Oh, uh, Robbie Halverson, thank you very much for joining us tonight and signing in. Pro E guy as well. Thank you very much, guys. Um, we do have. Let's see. <coughs> Having seen uh, a few of the issues with the engines, seeing them through, fix it, excuse me, fixing them, and uh, pushing, basically pushing the fixes out the door, um, <coughs> on the very first five, we're doing that with the same thing with these guys that are right behind me. So, as you can see right there. So, um, these engines, are looking to ship out very very soon. I would probably say in the next uh, two to three weeks um, after the Maker Fair, um, these guys should be going out the door and to their respective owners. <coughs> now, where does that put uh, a few of the other people when it comes to uh, besides Kickstarter's pre-orders? Uh, that's a very good question. Pre-orders will probably not be going out until um, I would say mid to late October. And the reason why I say mid to late October is because right now uh, we're working on two different um, time schedules. <coughs> the first being that uh, we're trying to get ready for the World Maker Fair, as you guys know. Um, but then after that, we've got to get ready uh, for the next two Maker Fairs, one of which is going to be happening, uh, the Turner Maker Fair. That, so if you're in, Atlanta, in the Atlanta area, uh, Turner Broadcasting is going to have one on September the 26th which we have been invited to go to, and thank you very much if you guys are watching. We will be there. <coughs> and the second one's going to be the Atlanta Maker Fair, which is going to be happening on October the 26th. Now, in between there, we've got two, maybe three trips planned. Uh, the first one, um, we're looking at doing, uh, I might be going up to Greenville while Carl's going out to Cal California. Now, you may be asking yourselves, what's in Greenville? Uh, the South Tech Expo which is going to be happening uh, the very first, I think, first or second week in October is going to be <coughs> a big one. And we've been invited to share a booth with uh, with our rail company up there, and that's IKO. Uh, they want us to, to bring up one of the machines and showcase it off. Now, during that particular point in time, if I go up there, Carl will be going out to California. By going out to California, that means that he will be delivering and uh, setting up and doing all that wonderful stuff out in, uh, in the Los Angeles area. So that's that's the very first of two, maybe three trips going out to California. Um, and that's going to be the early, early part of October. That's that's the, that's tentative and that's, that's one of our plans as of right now. Toward the end of October is going to be a second trip going out to California. And, uh, and by about that time that should be, that's not the last trip going out to California for October um, or for the rest of this year it should be it should basically mean that all of the um, <coughs> all of the orders that are in the LA basin uh, should be completely filled now I know some of you guys are asking well, what about you guys in, in the rest of the world do not worry okay we're gonna be shipping this stuff to you and if we can we will make trips out to your at your to your particular area but those are the ones that we have been looking at because the airfare has been quite nice, quite quite uh, okay. functional. Yes, thank you, thank you, Carl. Uh, when it comes to the actual airfare to get all the way out there. <coughs> uh, in the meantime, um, I know some. Oh, surveys. I know some of you guys may have some questions about the surveys. I have not sent out every survey just as of yet. When it comes to, uh, I'm sorry. When it comes to the invoices for the extruders. Um, we had a few stragglers here and there for the uh, for some upgrades on their machines, and that's perfectly that's perfectly okay. That's perfectly cool. Um, a lot of the a lot of the reason why I wasn't able to get to it is because I've been working on the brochures, the brochures that are going to be going out to the, to the Maker Fair, and we'll be putting up on our website very very soon, uh, including something that Carl helped me out with uh, very recently, which is the facilities drawings. 
you guys will need to know exactly how much space you're going to need uh, for either the engine or for the system. <coughs> Excuse me, system 30. So you need to know how much room you're going to need and therefore the drawings for those guys, they're ready and uh, they'll be posted up on, on the website for you guys to download, take a look at and do all the measurements that you need from there. So, um, I think that's, that's pretty much about it. But when it comes to the surveys, um, I'll be pushing them out for the extruders very, very soon. Um, we're still working on, for those people who want the EMOs and also for the, uh, and for the extra hotheads, um, you will get those. Uh, we will, there's still a delay on there. And thank you very much for those people who have said that, that they, they can wait. So, there's, th there's that. If you pledged a System 30, I'm sorry, if, if you uh, went for the upgrade for the System 30, <coughs> we will honor what Carl said on one of the earlier broadcasts, basically saying that if you did that and you also got the wide, uh, the wide Z-axis rail, that we would be uh, giving you guys a hundred, and you already paid for it, we'd be giving you guys a, a $100 credit toward um, anything that, y anything that, y that you'd like, or we can, at the same time, we could also refund it. Uh, depending upon what your request would be, <coughs> and I think I think that pretty much sums up all the surveys. If you guys have any questions about it, um, continue to, to email me. I'll answer them. Uh, I'm sorry if I haven't been able to get to everyone at just as of yet for for all for all the questions um, uh, that you may you may have. On top of that, some of the questions um, I can't answer because I I just don't know um, the answers to them, <coughs> such as. Uh, number, the number one question is, is when is the volcano going to be ready? Um, I don't know. Uh, can I substitute the EMO for the volcano when it comes in? Um, I don't know. So, uh, those are things that we haven't even uh, I know looked into. Those questions. Oh, you do? Yeah. The so. volcano is three weeks behind the EMO 25s right now. Oh, really? Yeah, just three weeks. Okay. The version that we have. Yes. So, if you're going to buy a, uh, if you want a volcano <coughs> and you're thinking of getting an EMO 25, you're looking at, at three weeks after we would have given you an EMO 25 because the EMO 25s are already uh, in process. The first six of them are sitting in the other room and we have parts for another 60 pieces uh, that are on site ready for assembly. We just need to uh, assemble the circuit boards for them now. They're very little circuit boards. They're very simple. We, they, we would have already had them done but we ordered the wrong connectors by accident and the contacts are on the wrong side so the flat cable doesn't mash up. Uh, and we ordered the right connector, but <coughs> it was the wrong pitch. So the right connector, right connector is actually in transit, should arrive on Tuesday morning. So um, there, that's what's going on with Emo 25s. Okay. Oh. Uh, Coder 96 it says that you have no sound. You can't. You can't hear us. Um, I can't that's that's not good. Uh, can you um, try pausing it? Um, <coughs> let me go ahead. I can't even hear me anyway. Is every does everybody does everybody else have the say? Okay, okay. Let me let me tell them this. Um, try pausing the stream, then uh, play it again or refresh. <coughs> yeah, there you go. Um, Thank you, Les. Hopefully you're hopefully you're joking. Um, yes. Okay. <coughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That doesn't sound like the Les I know. Very true. Okay. So, um, but that's with the extruders that that so for the extruder survey. So, if you guys have any questions over about about that, please just email me or email Carl, and we'll we'll get back in touch with you and answer those questions so you just heard it here first if you guys want to go to the volcano not the emo um, I'll send it out and and find out what's going on so less music says I am the most serious person in the world now what the wife says. Wow <coughs> ah okay sorry guys <coughs> got a little bit of a tickle in the throat so um Geez, there was a lot of there was a lot of other things that happened this week. Um, most of it was was, was reworked before um, 
in order to get to get the uh, the things going. We have five engines in the other room that are set up ready to go. Um, and when I say ready to go, they're ready for the final QC. They are fine. They're ready for the uh, for them to, to start printing to do some uh, to do quite a few uh, test prints and also the final couple of prints that need to be done before we ship it out before we ship any of them out. Um, <coughs> so the latest software has been up uploaded. Uh, the latest firmware has been flashed. Um, all the screws have been tightened, nuts, bolts, all that stuff, and it's been trammed. So it's uh, so this coming week is going to be a lot of printing before the Maker Fair, and some shipping. Some shipping. And some so personal delivery. Uh, so I'm not sure if you heard that or not, but some shipping and some personal delivery uh, to Sue's, to some of you wonderful kick, uh, Kickstarters. Uh, so we're we're watching this. So we are that close. Um, <coughs> So I'm going to open up the floor uh, for anyone who have, has any any questions. Oh, and uh, so if you guys have any questions, please ask it in the chat. Um, I'll go ahead and tell you this: um, we have not worked on any bit of the um, scanners. Again, we have not worked on anything regarding that this week. So, um, <coughs> Powers USA says, "Can we see an engine with a stainless steel cover and touchscreen installed?" Absolutely. Um, if you can hold on, I can grab one for you. Well, I was gonna say we can. They all have touch screens, right? Yeah, all the ones that are over there. Yeah, have have touch screens. Do this guy is not up here. Or do you want me to set it up? I got I got a power cord here. Let me grab one. Okay. So Carl's gonna go in the other room and grab one. So great question, Powers USA. So yes, um, we've got a total of five, and those five are yeah, they are ready to go. I don't know which, whether this was one of the ones that has the latest and greatest on everything, but it should power up. Uh, it does, actually. Should? So. And this one is for Chris Creel. Yes. Mm-hmm. Move that out of the way. Uh-oh. U.S. Marshals coming. Huh. All right, just give it a second, guys. <coughs> the, um, the slicer is screwed up on the top of this, mm -hmm. but uh, the bottom came out awesome. That's off of Aquanet. Wow. Wow, that's actually going to the quite, quite nice finish. Oh. Okay. It's very nice. No film. I like it. No, it's it's the Aquanet. The Aquanet's becoming my favorite, and I okay. can use it on my hair to boot. Okay. Just so you can hold, if you guys can hold on one second, I got to wrap the cord and bring this over here just a little bit. So. <coughs> working just fine. Hold on one second guys. Move this back just a little bit. So you can see the entire thing in action a little bit better. There we go. And let me just go ahead and home everything. So home all. <coughs> So it works. So yes, the touch screen overlay and the stainless steel cover is in place and it's, um, yeah, this guy's ready to go. <coughs> yeah.